Hey guys, this is June because I was born in June. In today's group funnel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add subdomain very easily in your group funnel, group pages, group member, or group blog as well. So adding subdomain in group funnel is very simple. And what you need to do right now is step one is to log in to, into your group funnel and then hover on the right hand side at your profile picture at a group funnel and click my domain. So there will be two options. So for the left hand side, it's you just want to set your subdomain with groovepages.com as a root domain. All right. So most likely you if that's you're having free domain name, you can just click on this and to manage it is very simple. When you click manage, just put in put in the subdomain that you want. So, but most of us, we have our own domain name. Like for me, my own domain name is junlo.co, right? And then I want to create a subdomain that is called hello.junlo.co. So how are we going to exactly set up, set up this? So now what I want you guys to pick is to pick on the right-hand side, custom domain, subdomain, and click on manage, all right? So once you do that, you'll be able to see that June myself, I already have two main domains setting up. So uh, this video is teaching you adding subdomain. So if less you want to know how to add the main domain, you can refer to my other tutorial. So right now, here there are a few different samples for you. So for you, firstly, you need to ask yourself for the subdomain that you are going to set up. Is it specifically to set up website like Groove Pages, or is it meant for membership portal that is Groove Member, or are you setting up for blog Groove Blog? Or are you setting up subdomain for Groove Card? So let's just take the example that right now I am setting up a landing page. So this subdomain that I want to set up, it's for meant for my landing page where I'm going to use Groove Pages. So what you need to do is just to hover to Groove Pages, click on the edit, all right? And maybe the subdomain that I want, I already have pages and hello in existence. So right now I just want to set up like test, right? So what you need to fill in is just to fill in test and click correct uh, and click the tick button so you can set up basically anything that you want so right now i already set up the test.amazingacademy.co so let's see how am i going to use this domain so right now i'm just going to go back to uh i click update i'm going to go back to my groove pages i'm showing you guys whether this new subdomain has already been reflected so I'm just going, because I set up this in Groove Pages, right? I'm just going to click like this one, click edit. And I'm just going to publish to my new subdomain called test. Okay, so this is the page that I've set up for my amazing live academy. And I hit on publish. And whenever publish, they will ask you which domain that you want. I'm going to pick custom domain, my amazingacademy.co. And I'm just going to select subdomain. And I'm just going to select the new subdomain that I just created, that is test.amazingacademy.co. And I'm just going to hit on publish. So usually when you hit on publish, it will take about 30 seconds to one minute, depending on the speed, in order to have the new subdomain reflected. So as you guys can see, when I hover over, it will say that I can right now click on this button to go to test.amazingacademy.co to see if this page is loaded. So let us click on this right now all right so it means that it's still publishing so not to worry it is definitely working it's just that it needs some time so let me just wait for another 10 seconds all right so let me try to open another website in connector window and go for test um let me show you guys and go for test.amazingacademy.co to see if this page is being updated yes this is being updated so it is very simple to set this subdomain up uh, um, what you need to do is just to go to your profile, click on my domain, click on Cups and Domains. And remember, you can set up subdomain for pretty each of the product. Like if let's say right now you want to set up for roof member, just click on edit button and just click plus and perhaps I want to call it as member. And to select the group member, which you already set up and click, tick yes. And voila, here you go. So setting up a subdomain is pretty easy. So if let's say you have any questions, feel free to leave your comment down below. Or if this video is helping you to solve your problem, I will appreciate your comment or hit on the like or to hit on the subscribe button. I will appreciate you very much. And also, we are going to include um, free course that we have in order to how to use your group funnel. So if let's say you have any questions and you need to hire any funnel builders to build 
your groove site. I know a lot of funnel builders who are very good at their work. Feel free to reach out to me at my Facebook at the comment section and more than happy to help you over. So that's all. Hope to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.